Yeah, it's happening, people. Okay, so this has been a long time coming. This has been a long time coming indeed. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. You see, when this was suggested that I try it, it was during the height of the pandemic, you know, the lockdown, where not a lot of shops were open and the ones that were open were running on limited options because like their supply wasn't the same. You know, they weren't getting the same sorts of stuff that we're getting before, which meant that you couldn't really get a lot of stuff. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Cocoa Pops, which, you know, I'm sure, you know, you can get just about anywhere. But then I'm also talking about Milkshake, Banana Milkshake. Now, some of you might be thinking, but you can get Milkshake anywhere. Not quite. Not quite. You see, this isn't just any Milkshake. This is McDonald's Milkshake, which, to be fair, you can't get pretty much anywhere. But... <laughs> during the height of the pandemic. These were gone, like McDonald's had no milkshakes, no McFlurries, no nothing, you know? So these were gone for a long time. And then when they finally came back in stock, I actually forgot that I was supposed to be doing this and it just slipped my mind and then I remembered and then I forgot again and then I remembered and then I forgot again. And that pretty much went like that for a while until the day I was like, hey, I should try that thing. <laughs> Banana milkshake and Cocoa Pops. So that's what we're doing today. Banana milkshake and Cocoa Pops. Now, here's the thing. You can try this. Apparently, you could try this with banana flavored milk. I don't want to try it with banana flavored milk because if you're going to do something wrong, do it right. So, this is banana milkshake. And in my opinion, let me just open this up so you can see it. There you go. Let me not spill. Well, I already spilled. Let me try to spill too much. In my opinion, this is the best milkshake you can get. McDonald's are the best milkshakes you can get for less than two pounds. If you're willing to spend like four pounds, five pounds or more, yeah, you can get much better milkshakes. <laughs> I'm real classy right now. But for two pounds or less, honestly, in my opinion, this is about the best milkshakes you can get. Best milkshakes you can get if I can even talk properly. Good level of thickness, creamy. Well, not really creamy. Is creamy the right word to use? I don't know. It's whatever it is. It's not, it's not like super thick, where you're struggling to suck it through a straw, but it's not so loose that it just fills up water. Because some of the cheap milkshakes have to fill up water. This, I'm not gonna be careful because I ain't really trying to spill. But yeah, this, it's got a good texture. A good texture, nice kind of a, not too thick, not too loose to it. So, if you're in the mood for a milkshake and you don't wanna spend too much money, I would recommend a McDonald's milkshake. And when McDonald's start sponsoring me, I might, Damn, I would have recommended them. Checking out. Anyway, I like Cocoa Pops. I've tried Cocoa Pops plenty of times throughout my life. Um, I don't eat them very often because these days I prefer to have uh, either granola or, or shredded wheat as my cereal. So this box probably lasts me a while because I'm not going to have Cocoa Pops every day, but this is what a, uh, what is this? 295 gram box. So it's a relatively small box, but yeah. So I'm gonna pour that in the bowls. I'm gonna give myself a decent portion. I reckon that's about, that's about okay. Oh, by the way, let me ask you this. Cereal first or milk first? Because if you said milk first, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume you're a psycho, all right? Um, but yeah, cereal first always. So let's do this. Cocoa Pops, banana milkshake. Let's get all that thickness in there as well. There we go. I think that should be enough. Oh, that is covered. Look at that. All right. That is covered. All right. So, mix it up a bit. Might need a little bit more milkshake, actually. I think I might need a little bit more milkshake in here. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a pour, just a pour. <laughs> might be a little bit too much more. All right. We've got to mix it up. Get that chocolatey. I have had banana and chocolate before, by the way. This is the first time I have a banana milkshake with Cocoa Pops. So getting that chocolatey flavor mixing with the banana milkshake. I don't know if you can hear that, but when we get there, some microphone, listen to that. Can you hear that? Yeah. All right, so here we go. The moment of truth. And by the way, I'm very much aware that this setup isn't exactly ideal. I'm, I'm all crotch right now. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, here we go. Has a nice smell. Definitely passed the smell test. But does it pass the taste test? Chocolate and banana. I do like chocolate and banana. But Cocoa Pops 
That's banana milkshake. I like Cocoa Pops, I like banana milkshake, but together. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. I'll say that right now, first kind of impression is, uh, it feels very like normal Cocoa Pops. The banana definitely um has a nice kind of tinge to it, but I do feel like the banana flavor, uh, the banana milkshake flavor goes a bit too quickly. Like you get the banana flavor, that kind of goes, and then you just left the Cocoa Pops. Perhaps because like, you have to chew the Cocoa Pops and you can just swallow the, the milkshake. I don't know what the science behind it is. I'm just guessing, but, Maybe it just needs to mix a bit more because I feel like it's mixing uh, that that last bite, that last spoon was like a bit of the banana and the, and the chocolate all together. So maybe it just needs to mix it a little bit. Maybe we need to make sure it mixes in properly before you start eating it. Because it feels like, it, feel like it's getting better as I'm going along. Yeah, definitely getting better as we go along. So yeah, maybe that's it. Once we pour it in, make sure you mix it in. <laughs> make sure you mix it in properly. I told you I'm classy. I'm classy all the way. And then start eating, but yeah. Mmm. This is definitely a solid recommendation. Banana milkshake and Cocoa Pops. So yeah, that definitely gets the haze thumbs up. The haze seal of approval. Appreciate the recommendation. If you've got any other recommendations of foods I, I, I should try, any kind of combinations of stuff, might sound a little bit weird, but they taste nice. Those are the best ones, ones that sound weird, but they really taste nice. I guess banana milkshake and cocoa pops isn't really a weird combination because of that banana chocolate. Mm. But even still, recommend certain so I can try it eventually. <laughs> but for anyone out there wanting to try certain a little bit different, maybe eat cocoa pops anyway, maybe have banana milkshakes anyway, but you want to try something a little bit different, not a bad combination. Cocoa pops, banana milkshake, so yeah. Go well, try it if you haven't already. Make sure you mix it all the way in. But yeah, this is good. I like this. I like this. All right. Drop any suggestions, recommendations in the comments. Send them through and I'll see what I can do. Like, share, subscribe because we're doing this thing. Got more videos on the screen. Check out my other channels as well. Be much appreciated. But until whenever, if ever, peace.